Thank you. Um, so, thank you. Uh, this is really an exciting time for everyone. Um, I'm actually representing, can everyone hear back there? I have a low voice, so I'm trying to make sure I can be heard. Um, I'm actually from L.A. myself, so um, I'm one of the uh, representatives for here in L.A. Uh, Bruce had to go home. He's going to the summit on this weekend, so it was very important uh, that we were here uh, to represent for not just us, but for all of you. Uh, one of the things that we were able to do was kind of spearhead going in and seeing Dean Logan and having an opportunity to be inside of the process of trying to warn them that we were going to have some issues. Um, and so, but today is an opportunity for all of us to be able to be very appreciative of the young men and women who have put a uh, brand new Congress together. Uh, so let's give them a round of applause. Um, it, it's really their efforts that have spearheaded organizations like Black Men for Bernie um, and seeing an opportunity that uh, Bernie Sanders put out there for everyone that says, just get involved in what's going on in your community. Just get involved and talk to the people and share their word. And just when I looked at uh, the young man, Keith, when we saw him running for, for, for office here, uh, as a write-in candidate. <laughs> Kenneth, there we go. All right, right behind Kenneth. And, uh, you know, the words that came from Bernie Sanders uh, directly to him were to get out in his community and feel the community's pain um, and be willing to accept that responsibility of the pain in your community and then do something about it. And so for us, we see that this brand-new Congress is definitely uh, the vehicle behind that. And so we're very proud to be here, to be a part of this organization as well. Uh, we are going to be looking for candidates. We actually had a candidate that we were pushing uh, in our District uh, 37 who made it through the primary, Chris Wiggins. So he's actually into the general election uh, for District 37. He will be going against Karen Bass. And so that's the beginning process that we're talking about here. So with everyone having the ideas that they have and with everyone having the passion that they have, and with everyone having the pure heart that they have that brought them here today is what's going to expand this everywhere across the nation. And so to answer some of those questions that you talked about with being community leaders and organizers, that's one of the things that we plan on championing in our black neighborhood. And not just our black neighborhood, but in areas outside of that. Because we just don't live in one particular area. We live everywhere. And that's everyone in this room. We live everywhere. And we're all together in this one goal. And that's to be able to take over Congress with the right kind of people that feel the things that we feel on an everyday basis. And so we're here to actually help as much as we possibly can to be a part of that change. And we're so grateful for that. And uh, we just wanted to make sure we came out to extend our hands and anything that we possibly can do to be a part of that change, we're willing to do that. So.